Yu-Gi-Oh! Unleashed, Behind the Duels, David Talk versus Fire and Ice. Interesting that we're going back to this because, you know, the David Talk mini saga was a year ago, give or take a few months. I know that because in my recommended, it's got one of the original David Talk episode things. The old warrior took Serena back to the fusion dimension. And just like that, the old warrior vanished. To this day, nobody knows his fate. Huh. Some say Leo carded him for his mistakes before. Others say that he was killed in the field of battle. I remember this guy. And then there are those who will tell you that he retired to a lone island. Yeah, pretty o- but whatever his interesting fate, deck. Still a mystery. Not good, but you know, it'd be a fun day. rogue one. Wow. That sounds pretty exciting. Like Wuggles and stuff. You know, I'm I forgot he put his dual pad under his hat. So I'm surprised you didn't know. Then again, you didn't know that pendulum summoning was a thing. Just how long have you been in our dimension? Not long. Since you came here. Uh, four weeks, give or take. Each or in tow. I had my own priorities back when I was still working for the evolution dimension, so... Mm. I didn't really pay much attention to my surroundings. Fair enough. The history of these dimensions wasn't a priority. Hmm. Ah, hello there, gentlemen. And what appears to be the commotion? Oh, hey, David. We need you to go against a pretty okay Sonic Boom game. You know, anomalies, certain events, and people that just disappeared, all that sort of stuff. Ah, uh, yes, I think I overheard your little conversation. Uh, what was that one about? Uh, uh, the old warrior? The one that used beast borgs, I believe? I was always curious It's a shame that their that. fusion... I mean, I mean I fusion card, soldier, it's a you're, you cannot normal summon or set. I do say so myself. Boss rush much? All the same, I still wonder what happened to him. Now that I think about Maybe it, ended up like Minus. Duelists back in you those know, days turned into a barrier or something. Disappeared. I, you know, I wondered the same thing too about John Michelle Rogers. And then I regretted getting an answer. A while ago, that question was answered. So, if his fate would eventually be revealed, then I'm sure the full story of many others will come to light sometime in the future. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hmm. Say, David, how about you tell us some more stories about what happened to you while you were in the underground? Oh yeah, I'd like to hear some more of that too. I'm always down for a good story. Oh, um, okay. Well, I think... Get ready for the David Talk Story Hour. Already, but since you're bringing up anomalies, I think I might have one more tale to tell. Shall I tell you about how I do a blue-haired girl? On, and was basically responsible for this team Excellent. annex being created. Okay then. Save that this one for another day. After my glorious duel with the crackling dragon. Hmm. I was just preparing for my next match, heading towards the next peasant for me to crush, when all of a sudden something caught my eye. It was the manager talking to two strangers, which I had never met before. <sighs> Look, for the last time, I'm not going to reveal to you where our prize duelist is located. That is for information only for the people of the underground to know, at which you two are not, so get lost. <sighs> no, you get lost, you punk! You have no idea what you're Fire holding trap. back here. We need to know where they are right now. This is a matter of life and death. You have no idea the lives that you could beat Cobra. Please. Cobra. I apologize for my brother's abrasive tone. What else is new? Why you... <clears throat> so these two are fire but and ice. He does have a point. Listen. Did you ever ask his <coughs> father... Who exactly he was and where he got him from. I've seen a necklace with that design before. I know it's not like you just pinned so willing to put his into, but it's similar. Into this arena. I'm not really one to ask questions. And even if I was, does it look like I care? Clearly not. Mm. But 
unless you tell us where exactly you sent him, a lot of people's lives could be at stake here. For all we know, there have been plenty of our lives that have been jeopardized. We must know where you sent them. Now. Hmm. Let me think about that. No. You're not a part of the underground, so any information to be honest, I forgot from where the they went. stays in it. Soon we were found out. Oh, for crying out loud. If you don't cut the garbage this instant, I swear, we're gonna come back down here with sector security. And then you could say goodbye to your precious underground. Sure you will. Oh, that's all the more reason for me to kick you two out. I'll give you to the count of ten before I call my security. <gasps> ten, nine... A no no that that won't be necessary. <sighs> Fine, we'll leave. Come on, Cobra. <laughs> Punk. Strange. Hmm. This is an over fat cat. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but who are they? A nuisance. Nothing for you to worry about. Get ready for your match. Yes, sir. And that wasn't the last time Sorry. that I saw them. Over the next few weeks, they kept coming back day after day, asking the same questions. And every time I saw them, I could never get a straight answer. I tried asking everyone else I knew down there about it, but they always told me the same thing. A pair of nuisances. It got so bad that the manager decided to ban them from the underground altogether. After that, they resorted to circling around the outskirts of the building like vultures, ambushing and berating people with their questions. It was only a matter of time before they managed to get me. So, when that time came, I was more than curious about why the heck they were sticking around for so long. Good question. Not to mention, I couldn't help but feel like I've seen the two duelists somewhere before. Well, they're all played by the same so, actor, so... When they did finally come to me for answers, I decided <clears throat> to lure them away from the underground in order to ask some questions of my own. <sighs> what color is my underwear? Out here. Now what? <laughs> Well, it's quite simple, my friend. I want you to face this mugger doing, which is a British man doing a New York accent. Quite some time now. Which is the only you reason I remember that character even exists. Guts. Most people who stick their noses into other people's business don't last too long around here. The manager makes sure of it. You dragged us all the way out here just to warn us. <laughs> that isn't going to stop us, has been. We've been in tougher and I'm a never was, thank you. This. Wait. Well, that isn't necessarily the reason why I led you out here. You two want answers, and I believe I can give them to you. However, I do have one condition, and I think it's pretty obvious. You two must defeat me in a two-on-one duel. If I win, you never come back here, and if you two win, I'll tell you what I know. Or whatever it is you want to know. You oh, realize if you just tell them, reasons. they'll leave, right? Very well, then. Hold on, Cobra. What? <laughs> How do we know that you won't go back on your word? Or well, this isn't just some daft trick. For all we know, this could be a setup by your manager to try and get rid of us. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! How do we know that you're not trying to rat us out? Well, I suppose you're just going to have to... Trust me, aren't you? Besides, I've seen how desperate you two have become. I mean, at this point, you've even been approaching the lower-ranked duelists. And let me guess, each and every one of them has gone back on your word. You bribe them with money, with food, and they give you nothing in return. Honest people are... <clears throat> really hard to find around here. Mm. But... It's the best lead we have. Yes. <laughs> well, it's your choice. Why? Why are you trying to help us? <laughs> I'm not trying to help anyone. 
except Let's just myself. Say I know what it's like to be desperate. And if I could find myself a lucky break down here, then why not you two? That is, if you're still willing to take it. Besides, I'm in a generous mood tonight, so what do you say? I mean, it's not like you have any other choices. No, we don't. <sighs> All right, David, you've got yourself a deal. Yeah, but don't think this is going to be a cakewalk. Exactly. Because you're about to face two of the greatest tag duelists in history. Cobra and Bear. Together, Together we, we are the, the two unstoppable, unstoppable brothers, brothers, brothers of fire and, and ice. ice. Oh, so that's where I recognized you two from. I thought I saw you somewhere. You two used to be quite famous during the downward days of is this just, wait a minute. <laughs> Until one day rough, you just rough and tumble reference? Circuit. I was wondering what happened to you two. From the IDW Sonic. Anyway. <coughs> we had our reasons. And their reasons you don't need to know. Mm. So are we doing this or what? Suit yourself. Alright boys, get your game on! Let's duel! Alright then, since this is a two-on-one duel, this means one of us will go first. Cobra, if you please. <laughs> With pleasure! I draw! Perfect. I'll start this turn by activating the spell Fire Force Ignition. Mm -hmm. This lets me add one Fire Force monster from my deck to my hand. Next, I summon Fire Force Cobra! And he'll definitely bring some force all right when I use his ability to summon Fire Force Sage from my deck. Hmm. And joining this duo from my hand is Fire Force Lap. When this card's special summoned, you take 300 points of damage for every fire monster I control. And now I'm running the freaking oh. Pyrus Duelist then, from Revelations. Summoned, my Cobra will Except good. 400 points of damage. Oh. Next, I activate my Sage's special ability, allowing me to fusion summon without the need of polymerization. Mm. I combine himself with my Fire Force Cobra. I fusion summon Fire Force Golem. Oh boy. I activate my Fire Force Golem special ability. It looks like a parrot going lap, like, eh. You take another 700 points of damage. <laughs> And now that you're all You've lost a quarter up, of your I'll life points. You. I set three cards face down. Your move. Oh, a burn deck. Ugh, I hate these. I draw. And during your standby phase, I'll add some more burn onto it. My golem inflicts another 1,000 points of damage. <sighs> Are you done? You've lost three eights. This is my turn. Right. Our turn. I reveal Clockwork Gadget in my hand to special summon Clockwork Golem. Then I'll summon my gadget to the field and use its effect to add another Clockwork card to my hand. Then I'll play a card you're very familiar with. Polymerization. Mm. I use it to fuse my Clockwork Gadget with the Clockwork Turtle in my hand. I fusion summon a peer clockwork fortress. Nice. Now my clockwork turtle lets me draw another card. Ah, which would appear to be my clockwork beetle, which I shall special summon to the field. Then I use my golem's effect to resurrect clockwork gadget, but he won't be around long. I tribute him using beetle's effect. Now I draw another card. And since it's my clockwork wyvern, I can add a second copy of polymerization to my hand. Then I activate it, fusing my clockwork golem and beetle. I but not the wyvern? summon clockwork cannon! Now, my clockwork cannon gains 200 attack for every clockwork monster in my graveyard. Which should There's be quite a more few. than enough to take care of that golem of yours. <clears throat> Ugh, boring. Try something new for a change. 
I activate my trap card, Ring of Destruction. Oh no. This will destroy your clockwork cannon and inflict damage to both our life points equal to its attack Chain force. Fortress Effect. Ha! Huh. Oh no, you don't. I activate my Clockwork Fortress's special ability. By changing its battle position, your Ring of Destruction <coughs> is negated. No! Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Clockwork Cannon. Fire! Destroy Fire Force Golem! Uh-oh. <laughs> And there's plenty more when Didn't that take any damage. Wrong. When Clockwork Cannon destroys a monster, you take damage equal to its attack points. Uh. Ah. Down to a thousand already. Cobra! I'm okay. He's he's done much worse to me. <laughs> you know that. You came he. first after all. Him? Father. I set two cards face down and end my turn. What else could that imply? Your turn. Bear, was it? Yes, I suppose it is. I draw. Go get him, Grizzly. All right, then. I'll start by playing Ice Error Incubation. Hmm? This lets me add an Ice Error card to my hand. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Fortress! That isn't going to happen this time. From my hand, I activate the monster effect of Ice Error Owl. Not only can I special summon this card, but I can negate your Clockwork Fortress's effects. Are you kidding? What? Oh no! Look at everyone in freaking Escodet having a hand there. trap. Now, in I add a card to my Even hat, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards made nowadays don't have bed. that. Using its effect, I can special summon Ice Era Sage from my deck. Now, who am I kidding? Yes, they do. Can negate the effects of another card on your field, like your Clockwork Cannon. Stop my cannon! Leave my shit alone! alone. Put on ice, my Ice Era Sage will perform a fusion summon without the need of polymerization. I fuse him and my bear. Fusion summon! Ice Era Golem! Uh, he has a golem too? It's almost like his brother's. Now I activate mm. Ice Era Golem's special ability. By tributing my owl, I can destroy all monsters on the field that are put on ice! <laughs> Well, it's a shame. It's a shame he won't be attacking. Go, clockwork, decay! I don't think mm -hmm. so. My Ice Era Golem can negate the activation of your trap card. Not only is your trap destroyed, but the spell and trap zone it's in is frozen over until the end of the next turn. Oh, come on! No! Now attack him directly! I told you he wasn't attacking, and I'm a man of my word. Go, Clockwork Turtle! <clears throat> Not only can I summon this monster from my graveyard, but your battle phase has ended! Fine. <coughs> I set three cards face down and pass the torch on to you. He sets three as well. Draw. Okay. One deck focuses on burn, the other effect negation. This effect damage, effect point. negation. Duh. Okay. To start my turn off, I'll activate my second trap, Clockwork Collection, so you can draw more cards yes. as if. Go, Golem, negate that trap card's effect. <sighs> At least he used up the use. <laughs> Wrong target. This is the card you should have negated. Mm. I activate Machine Duplication. Nice. Now I can summon two more Clockwork Turtles from my deck. Uh, he faded me. Hmm. Now I special summon from my hand Clockwork Wyvern. His ability adds Power Bond to my hand. But I'll be saving that for a second. Now I activate Fusion Recovery, adding my Clockwork Beetle and Polymerization back to my hand. I'll play Polymerization to fuse my Wyvern with two of my Clockwork Turtles. Come Clockwork I'll Dragon! The one, the only Clockwork Dragon! Ugh. He's gone into his mascot already? Yep. Now, two of my turtles allow me to draw two more cards. And then I play Power Bond to fuse my last turtle with my Clockwork Dragon. I fusion <coughs> summon Clockwork Paradox Dragon! And he's gone into his upgraded form this Yep. Time. He must be getting serious. When summoned, Power Bond doubles my monster's attack. 
On top of it gaining 500 attack points for every clockwork monster in my Daisy game. equipped with the paradox strike yeah, with the dragon in the graveyard. No, the candy give it even boss, more attack. Which will not only give it its special abilities, but an extra attack boost. Now it gains 700 However, it will lose 500 attack points from a clockwork can not being in a grave. Did you get all that? <laughs> ah, that thing has almost 1300 attack points. Bear, look out! Now, my dragon, he still has a face down. Face down isn't used yet. Wrath. Attack, ice era golem, quantum destruction. I don't think so. Go half or nothing. Oh. This track gives you two choices: end your turn or continue this battle phase with half your monsters' attack. Well, why would I stop? Half is better than nothing, I suppose. Continue your attack, my monster. Good job holding on. Bear! Especially since it doesn't matter. You know why? Because since my clockwork paradox dragon is equipped with my cannon, I can inflict damage equal to your golem's attack points. You're finished! It's got another I trap. Have anything to say and or do about it has been Ring of Defense! <sighs> No damage from my brother. He was going to use that with Ring of Destruction earlier. Thanks, brother. Assuming it works with the anime version, Anytime. with only one player. Just don't scare me like that again, you idiot. Clever. I set one card face down and end my turn. And during the end phase, I'll play my own Ring of Defense, since I can't afford to take any more damage. Hmm. Didn't know he played Water that card, but I'm nursing him every day. You clearly don't know your animals. Draw! No, but I know oh, my Pokemon. Thank you, heart of the cards. Hey, bro, it's time. Uh oh. Is that so? <laughs> well then, let's not keep our opponent waiting any longer, shall we? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. They're planning something. No shit. I'll start my turn by playing my last trap card, Fire Force Transmutate. This lets me summon a Fire Force monster from my graveyard and inflict damage equal to half its attack points. So 700. I'll follow up my brother's play with my own trap card, Ice Era Transmutate. This lets me do the same with an Ice Era monster. Only I can negate your monster's effects, freezing it to rust. <sighs> so you've managed to weaken my monster and summon your own. Big deal. Both your monsters are still too weak in comparison to my monster. The big deal? Oh, <laughs> this is the big deal. I activate the spell card, Fire and Ice Fusion! Oh no! What? I've never seen that spell card before. Then let me explain what it does. It lets me fuse. You knew that my we were a legendary do tag duelist, but didn't know that we used this? Card. Hope you're ready, Mr. Talk, because you're in for quite the treat. Let's do this! From a burning ring of fire, and with a heart as solid as ice, we summon a beast of two that will make you pay the price. Turn, Turn away, away now. now, that, that is, is our advice. advice. Paradox I Brothers, much? Summon. Fire and ice, dragon! dragon! Well, that's a retrain on Frost and Flame Dragon and see coming. Fire and Ice Dragon? Never heard of this monster before, have you? No! Care to explain it to him? <laughs> With pleasure. First, when he's summoned, he negates all face-up monsters on the field and inflicts damage for each monster negated. But your monster's already put on the fritz, so... No biggie. Oh, he oh, has two attributes. Monster effects and inflict damage to your life points, so that's a bonus. Oh, and uh, fire and ice fusion grants different effects depending on. I like the how the left hand side is blue and the right hand side is red. Water monster, but on the attribute, the right, the left hand artifacts. side is red and the fire right. Fire monsters can't be destroyed by the blue is the right side. But here's the bonus: fire and ice dragon is both a fire and water monster. It's a fighter. <sighs> Thank you for the lecture, my man, but unfortunately, none of that will allow your monster to surpass mine. Oh, that won't be for long. Yeah, Grizzly. Thank you. Now, I activate my trap card. Fire and Ice Collision! 
This allows both me and my brother to send a monster from our decks to the graveyard. And then, we can inflict a different effect onto you depending on the monster that we sent. What? I'm sending a water monster. Fire so, era, your monster's ice era attack fan. points become half the original. Oh! And I'll be sending a fire monster. So you take Fire Force Wisp, to nice. Your monster's original. Oh, again with the burn. It's my Hold archetype, on, dude. Aren't you forgetting something? Yes, you forgot about the cold. Now go, fire and ice dragon. Destroy paradox dragon. Fire, fire and ice, ice fusion blast. blast. It's a cool oh, name. Oh. Excellent work, brother. Let's see you get past this. I end my turn. Clever. But this duel isn't over yet. <laughs> okay. Draw! <laughs> you know, you two, I congratulate you for making this far. I'm proud to say that you've earned my respects. After all, as you said before, it's quite hard to find some honest people down here. Oh, why thank you. But... This wasn't a compliment. That doesn't mean I'm going to let you off our deal so easily. Now then. Let's take care of you. I summon Clockwork Knight! Then, I activate the spell card Clockwork Polymer. This lets me summon Clockwork Rocket from my deck, and then immediately fuse my two monsters together. I fusion summon the Great Clockwork Prince! I use Prince's special ability, banishing my last copy of polymerization from my deck to, copy to its replicate effects. its effects. <laughs> As if I'm gonna let you do that. Go, Fire and Ice Dragon! Use your special ability to negate it! I won't let you. <sighs> no, 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 no. Not dealing with that, I'm afraid. Go, Clockwork Leap Back! Mm. This trap counter trap. your monster's effects and destroys it. What? Hey! Goodbye, Fire Ice Dragon. I Good gain riddance. 1,000 life points back. Now, I fuse my Clockwork Prince with my Clockwork Beetle in my hand. Fusion Summon! Clock work king. Oh no, uh, Cobra! No, Cobra! Yes, go, my clockwork king. Attack his light points directly and end him. Go, mechanical smiting. Uh, ah! You kept Cobra! pissing me off with your burn, and I paid the price. Cobra, are are you? Uh, I'm fine. Just, just, I'm just glad that the solid mass is not on. Mm. Even if it was, you know I'm okay. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I forgot. I didn't want to lose you. Lose me? Come on, man. Don't worry about me. I mean, remember what we promised. Yes. I promised that we find him. That we'd stop him from hurting anyone else. No matter what. No matter which one of us fall. Rather it be both of us. Or only one of us. Right. Okay, are you sure your brothers? Um, you know what? I'm not even... <laughs> that face is glorious. I end my turn. Make that the thumbnail if I can. Show this no if I remember. Boss. All right. Let's wrap this up. Draw. You know, you keep saying you want to fight the best duelist in the oh, underground. What you don't oh, understand is you got the you're looking face. at Does him. That mean you got something good. You're darn right. I got something good. Now then. To start my turn, I activate the spell card, Correlation Between Fire and Ice. This may cost me my normal summon this turn, but it lets me summon a fire and ice monster from either of our graveyards. Apparently both. Then, I can add my brother's fire and ice fusion to my hand. Oh no. What? 
What are you? He's doing it again. You mean you have another copy? Why, of course. Aye, I mean, did you honestly think that we wouldn't run more than one? Mm. Let alone one for each of us? Yes. Exactly. Fire and ice fusion, let's go! Prepare yourself, Taki. I once again perform a fusion summon in order to bring out my own fire and ice dragon! Come on. It doesn't matter. You two can have six for all I care. I beat that thing once and I can beat it again. Not if he negates your king's effects first. Great. Now, what do you say we add some icing on this cake? Hey, bear? I say let's go right ahead. I activate one last spell card. Raging, Raging fire from the heartless ice. This spell card lets me banish a fire and a water monster from my graveyard. And once again, the effects differ. A water monster will strip your clockwork king of its throne and its attack points. Oh, my king! And since he's banishing my fire monster from my graveyard, fire and ice dragon gets enraged with that monster's spirit, gaining its attack points. Indeed, since I banished my brother's fire force golem, it gains 3,000 extra attack points. Uh. Oh. Well then. A deal's a deal then, I suppose. Go on then. Do your worst. Oh, please. I'm saving my worst for someone else. And that goes for both of us. Now let's wrap this up. Fire and ice dragon, end this duel. Fire and, and ice! Fusion! Flash! flash. Oh, David lost. I didn't see that coming, to be honest. <laughs> bravo, you two. Bravo, bravo. That was quite spectacular. All right, then. So, a deal's a deal. What do you want to know? Thank you for keeping your word, Mr. Talk. I'll say. I mean, for a minute, I thought you were just going to turn back and give us the middle card. Well, like I said, I like I'm in a generous mood today. So, are you going to start asking before I change my mind? <sighs> Very well, then. I'll cut right to the chase. What do you know about the Devastator? The Devastator? Ah, yes, now I know who you're talking about. The Devastator. They were some of the greatest duelists in the underground. At least what I heard. I don't know. I wasn't around by the time they left. But I have heard so a great deal about them. Apparently they were so unbeatable, everyone just started voting for them. Wait. And only them. You know how that sort of thing is down here. It's hardly profitable. So yeah, Blake. the manager just had them sent to some other place. Uh, I think... Uh, I think a friend of mine told me. What was it? Wheeler Academy? Yes, I believe that was the place. That's all I really know about them. Hmm. So, why is this so important? They're gonna show up an era of dueling? <laughs> why, it's something from the magical world of Nada. What's that? None of your business. Now shove off. So, Avatar has ever been a reference. I apologize about him. He he may act brash, but he's really a little sensitive. If you really want to know, let's just say it's a family matter. Damn. Thank you for your time, Mr. Talk. Hmm. Now I know what they are. What strange men. That was the last time I ever heard from them. Oh, I can't believe you actually met Bear and Cobra, the Fire and Ice Brothers themselves. I can't believe you're only talking about it now. They sound like a big deal. I wanted to well, wait till your story was over. Very famous people back during the downfall days of action dueling. They were quite formidable during the tag team format. Ever since the day they arrived on the dueling circuit. They're doing it now in dueling, Steven. Un 
until they were. At the time of this recording. Long story short, they had a setup match against the legendary duelist Shea Obsidian. They lost, and after that, they just vanished from the dueling circuit altogether. Huh. Nobody had ever heard from them since. <laughs> well, Mr. Greendale. Uh, Kurosaki has a habit of doing that. Shea Obsidian for the dub. One of these days. Well, yeah, but still, I think this just asks more questions about the fate of Bear and Cobra Solomon. Say that again. I Bear knew it. And Cobra Solomon. 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 Yeah, that's their last names. <laughs> they aren't children. They're test subjects. Hugo, what's the matter? Nothing. I just they aren't his children. Be more specific. I'll be back. Solomon, as in Doctor Solomon. That's what I was thinking as well. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want anyone to worry, but. That can't be real, can it? I mean, I remember watching the news when I was a kid. I, I thought he was... I thought he was... Dead. Executed. That's what I was told as well, but... Clearly not. They said they were going to execute him by banishing him into an empty dimension. It looks like they weren't paying attention to where they dumped him. Either Do that, guns not work in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe? From what I heard, he was always a crafty type. Too I know why it was done, so he could come back and have revenge without death, but it's still like... Shoot the bastard! Percy, I'm really Damn evolution really dimension, thinking that they're above everything and just... We were going to send you to an empty be dimension, because that's far more clean and sanitary. You really think we can deal with him? Hopefully you'll never come back again like, it, like Zark I mean, did. I was forced to study some of what he did when I was in school, and let me tell you, it's it's not pleasant. It's enough to make me throw up in this hat. With my dual pad in it. stuff you were told in school was an understatement compared to what he did. <clears throat> Believe me, I'm concerned too. But, like you said, we already have enough trouble here as it is. This is an era of dueling problem. Still be out there. But, for what David told you, it does appear to line up a lot with what he used to do. So what do we do? For now, there's nothing we can do. We have to focus on Phoenix but University and Methylus. And, if anyone else ends up becoming his victims... May Raw have mercy on their souls. Exactly. So, in Yu Gi Oh! Airy of dueling. You know, I could forget the dueling typo. The Airy kind of is like, now you're going to send people on a wrong Google search. Oh. Now hopefully the Google auto spell correct will fix it. Although then again, if you type in error of du well actually if you type in error of dueling, that's pretty good. When you type in Drake scales, things go sour. But yeah. <clears throat> For those who don't watch Error of Dueling, uh, w which probably not many of my thing considering I react to it, but you know, uh, Solomon was a man who. He experimented on children to try to make the perfect duelist or something along those lines. I don't remember the exact reason for his experiments off the top of my head, but he's a very sick and twisted man. He doesn't create children. That's some misconception. I that's a conception I misunderstood. He kidnaps them and then mutates them. Sort of like how Dr. Zero did with the androids if you need a Dragon Ball Z reference because I need to reference everything in relation to Dragon Ball Z or else I die or an early death. <laughs> I don't know, just going off of what I know. <clears throat> anyway. He's a very messed up individual. Why they didn't just shoot the fuck? I know firing squad is old school but it's like 
At least it wasn't just we beat him in a card game, therefore he's dead. Send him to jail for the rest of his life. Well, I guess sending him to an empty dimension is essentially the same thing. Unfortunately, I guess that empty dimension was a different dimension like fusion, synchro, exes, etc. What if it was the link dimension? The ritual dimension! We sent him to brains. Keep going, but I won't. It's a big twist I did not see coming. So yeah, watch Arab Dueling. It's good. It's good, and this was good. So yeah.